Welcome. I have been waiting, Leon. Walter, I will never forgive you. I see. It seems you have enjoyed the gift that I gave you. <sighs> yes. Thanks to that, I now have the power to defeat you. Well, that power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night! Interesting. Now the curtain rises on this delightful little game. Nothing left to protect you. I'll fulfill my promise to Sarah now! Not yet. The power of the night is still full. I shall teach you the meaning of true terror! Disappoint me, Leon. I knew without a doubt that you would accomplish this. What is the meaning of this? I needed a powerful vampire soul. That is all. Are you saying you used me? 
not just you. Your betrothed, Sarah, Rinaldo, and Walter. I used all of you. I never thought it would go so well, though. Is that red stone? The crimson stone? Ah, you know it. I'm impressed. I made Walter's soul mine with the power of this stone. I sense a rage from this whip. You abandoned humanity? That's right. By becoming a vampire, I obtained eternal life. That was my goal. It was my revenge against God! Revenge against God? We have risked our lives and fought for the sake of God. But God mercilessly Stole away the one I loved most. When all I ever wished for was Elizabeth's safety. If limited life is God's decree, then I shall defy it. And within that eternity, I shall curse him forevermore. what the woman you loved would have wanted? The Matthias I know would not have loved such a woman. Elisabetta was a kind, honorable woman. She was concerned only for me to the very end. That is why I hate him! Am I wrong? Did you not defeat Walter with hatred in your heart too? Yes, I'd be lying if I claimed otherwise. But defeating him... No. Preventing others from suffering the same cursed fate. That was Sarah's dying wish. <gasps> Granting my beloved's wish. That is all I can do to prove my love to Sarah. Eternity.
Bloody Tempest! to destroy all related to the vampires. Though you have divine powers, you are no exception. Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, the Belmont clan will hunt the night!
And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will never escape.